Hi, thanks for everybody who's been bearing with me. I know it's been a well, it's been two weeks, I think, since I've actually done a video, but I've been pushing on with listing, uh, because with listing and um, obviously uh, sending things out because I seem to be picking up an awful lot of stuff. Um, I'll show you what I've got because I've literally just stepped in the door from going out this morning. Um, this is what I've got. So I've literally just got a few bric-a-brac things and two bags worth from one shop and I'm finding that this is what I'm able to do at the moment because there's only a few places open so all the donations are there which is great. So the place that I like to go to is no longer open at 9.30 now, it's open at 10.30 so it is busier now. But I am able to do my post on the way there instead of on the way back or as a separate run. So I'm going to quickly show you what I've got and then I'm going to be photographing and listing a load of the stuff that I got a week ago. Um, because this is what I'm doing is that these bits here I will now put into quarantine um, and I won't look at them because you don't know what kind of scalmatrons are wandering around these charity shops and going, ah, ugh. Uh, and the way somebody butted into me today, you know, like nothing's happening, like we're not on, you know, we're not supposed to be on full alert, stay alert. But, you know, she bounced into me like a bloody beach ball. No thanks. Not to say thank you. So I'll quickly show you what I've got. Um, Just a few little bric-a-brac things that I've got. Uh, these... Are, they're like gin whiskey stones so they're like ice cubes but they don't contaminate your drink uh, so I've got them they're only a quid obviously so I don't know what the resale is for them but a lot of these whoa people won't want them now chuck them on the floor oops the insanity <laughs> um yeah these things that I've got here they probably will only sell for about 10, 15 pound if I'm lucky. But then they, they keep the interest, they keep the customers coming. And the, what, if you make one sale, you tend to make a, a bunch of sales that day. So yeah, whiskey stones, probably around the 10 pound region. Um, this is a flash drive from Paper Chase in the shape of a polar bear, which is quite cool. Everybody needs a flash drive, you know, when you're at work you need these things people are always like have you got a flash drive and this is the sort of flash drive that you want to turn up with at work and then I've got this which is a travel cup it's brand new and it's got quite a nice design um, yeah. Yeah, but it's uh, completely biodegradable which I think is quite appealing to people who are going to use a reusable cup. And there's also a little coaster in there. Um, and it's made of bamboo. So for a quid, I thought that was worth the risk. Now, I'll get my rest of my gear. And of course, I haven't dragged it out of the bags yet. So I'm going to be in a right flap here. On the way back, from the charity shop now bearing in mind that this is just one place so you have if you get yourself out there there is stuff to be had and i so i was in there half 10 with the doors open and then it must have been half 12 when i was out because i went to go and buy an iron and i couldn't find one that i like the look of because of Naff me iron up, iron up with all this ironing clothes. Um, ran into me uh, old boss, so I was all like, they barely recognised me in the space of three months. Barely recognised me, but I was all like breezy, not Monica breezy, but proper breezy, you know. And I was like, made out that I'm already living the Lambo lifestyle. <laughs> so. Uh, while they're followed and look stressed out because there's only two of them in the office. Um, yeah, all right, conversation. Um, so I won't uh, dilly dally because I want to get on with things. This is just a standard top. 
I haven't checked the size out. I know it's all same. Oh, it's extra large. So that's good. Uh, this is current season. I've already sold this because I got this at TK Maxx with newer tags. Um, so I've already sold this for quite a decent price, at least 25 quid. I think it went to America. So for two quid, that's a no-brainer. Um, these are an American brand. This is uh, this from Marshalls. So I thought I'll pick these up because I don't know. I don't know anything about them, so I might as well get them. Three quid. This is the, the charity shop that I've been to. Everything is no more than three quid. Except if you're buying a piano, which they have had this week. Which I don't think really having a piano is COVID safe because everybody comes in and goes, do -do -do -da 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 -da. No, not COVID safe. Not COVID safe. Get this piano out of here. So. I don't know what brand, what uh, size they are. Oh, waist 34. Camouflage. Camouflage 90s, Y2K type trousers. It doesn't say how much they are. Uh, no. So, most of this stuff is bread and butter. So it's going to be like, you know, the £20 mark. But I don't care. I'm going get to get this stuff out of the 20 to £25 mark because it's cheap and there is an abundance of it today again they were turning people away with their donations loads of people come in and they said that they were going to they're accepting donations tomorrow but it's still really busy so these are new with tags crafted it's not a brand that i've picked up before so i don't know but i'm selling a lot of shorts at the minute so they seem like a good idea um, let's see if we've got the price on them. Yeah, so they're only originally £24. So even if I just have them on for a tenner, it's interest in my shop and a quick sale. And then we have quite a classic style V-neck sleeveless tank top. This is new with tags, but a brand i have no idea what it is but i think i can just sell that on keywords and the fact that it's brand new with tags i have sold something last week that was a no brand um so it is possible because classic style and uh, if you could if, if you didn't see the light you could see yeah, the lights are at the cricket ground just over there because i'm that close to old trafford Basic pair of jeans, cropped, yeah, no, it says 12 regular, so they are cropped, because, uh, well, maybe they're regular. I'm irregular, short ass. These are Sainsbury's 2 Gok, and they were £2. So, stretchy, nice, easy fit will be an easy seller for around the £15 mark. So this is a denim skirt with a split at the back. Size 12, old phase 8 um, label there. So another easy, just basic seller. Probably around 15 quid again. Trying to get through it fast. I don't want to have a really long video. So these shorts, these shorts are Nike, Nike Golf. So yeah, another easy seller because people um, people haven't got much to do at the minute. Oh yes, we have got the proper tag there. I know people counterfeit it, but who's going to counterfeit something and then put golf on it? It's not going to happen, is it? Not going to happen. Let's just check the zip. Yeah, that's fine. Put it on the pile. Another easy 15 quid. It all adds up. Even though it's small profits, it all adds up. 
So this top nautical, well no it's not nautical, well it is nautical but it's black and white as opposed to navy blue. And this, I don't do that well with this brand cars, but for three quid that's okay. And it is an XL, so it's a very generous comfy size. Everybody wants these things. And this is something else which I think is somebody who's either an expat or is chucking out everything they bought by accident in on a holiday to America. The gyms are opening soon and if they're not, people are running around doing outdoor activities. So people want some nice basic leggings and these are two quid. And they're new with tags by something called American Freshman. Um, so I picked these up because you can list these things quickly and get your money back. There seem to be one bag down already. Oops. Now, this, this is the winner of the trip. Now, <laughs> this was, the, they brought a, a new rail of stuff out while I was there. Now this is Hobbs and it's called the Twitch Hill Dress and it sells for around the 60 or 70 pound mark or 40 pound on a bad day. Now the reason that I know that is because I've already got two of these. I, for some reason every time I go out I find Hobbs. I've never Never used to find hobs, and now I'm finding it everywhere. This material is so lovely. I'm really hoping that I don't find any like random stain or like a discoloration because this is like yellow, so it's going to have a funny discoloration or something. Um, there you are, hobs. I will just show you one of the other ones because I've had a round some random things that have happened with some stuff I've picked up. Now, we all know that Hobbs is a great brand, but have a look at this. So this is the one that I've picked up last week, which is the same Twitch Hill dress. As you can see there, Hobbs. I have washed this now twice because it has what appears to be nail varnish on it. So I've tried, I've, I it, it may, it, it's almost like it's, it, it's could, could be chewing gum. Maybe I should try the freezer thing, but it doesn't feel like I can pick it out. I might try putting it in the freezer next, see if I can just pick this off because that's it. If I could just break this bit, this stain here, I don't know if you can see it. I'm slightly in the light here. Let's change the angle there so you can see there that i have nearly got it but i'm a bit stuck with it at the minute it's not as bad as it was but this is a really nice this is a really nice 100 percent linen dress and like i say they're selling 40 pounds on a bad day so i mean i probably could get 30 with and declare the stay but if i can get it out it's another winner. And I've got I've now got two of these. No, three of these. There's another one knocking around somewhere. Um But this is what I mean. I am finding that whatever shop I walk into, I'm coming out with two big bags full of stuff. Now this I paid one pound. Was that one I only paid three pound for, I think. Because I think I've got it in the same shop. So this is also Hobbs. Um, it's not the Twitch Hill dress, but this, the reason, the reason that this was so cheap is because look at that, now that is absolutely solid, you can fit, hear that, you can see it shining in the light, I just cannot break it. Oh, oh, I have broken it now. Maybe I can pick it off. But it's quite bobbled anyway, this dress. 
but yeah you see this is some kind of weird weird fetish that is going on in manchester where there's women out there who are going out buying a hob's dress and then pouring nail varnish down it you know i despair but i'm going to persevere i'm going to persevere with it because i'm sure that i can get some of my money back on my one pound sixty and if i don't I spent one pound sixty. Goths out there will know what this brand is. I mean, I can't believe that it says this is XL, <laughs> but this is XL apparently, and it's Hell Bunny. So, I mean. Halloween might be amazing this year because everybody, you know, maybe people will be allowed out by then. So I'm hoping that that's a good little winner. It's going to be at least 15, if not, you know, 20 to 25, depending on what's going on with um, what design that is. Because some, when they discontinue them, some people just love them because there's certain things. There's like a, there's a zebra. There's a zebra dress that in, in green and black, which Hellbonnie did, which I would pay through the nose for because I love it. But I've grown, I'm too big for my old one, which I think I've already sold. So this is just a basic Ben Sherman, but I did like the print. So I thought, well, get some short sleeves in because I have sold a lot of my short sleeves. So I need to get something in to replace them. And then I've got some wacky shirts by devil's advocate now these are extra small but i thought i'd take the risk because of the print as you can see that is crazy that it's extra small but these things you know people will be back on stag boos soon people will be back in the pubs wanting to look like a baba dazzler and then another one with, it looks like it should be birds, but it's not, it's just sort of squiggles. <laughs> so the same brand. I have seen this very expensive somewhere. I think I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it in the Bernardo's up the road and they've got 20 quid on it. And it's a new with tags and the original sale price was something like 60 to 70. So that's why I picked them up because three quid investment isn't much at all and then this citrus fruit lemons same again extra small devil's advocate so hopefully i'll uh, be able to sell them to somebody who's loud and this is a basic top by h&m which i don't not keen on h&m but i know Everybody seems to work for NASA now, so they need their uniforms because NASA don't give their uniforms out anymore. Don't know why. So I'm sure somebody will be looking to uh, buy a NASA top. <laughs> uh, what's this? I think this is something that I quite like the look of. It's not any kind of brand, but it's uh the verve got the there's love if you want it don't sound like a sonnet yeah so this one's for me and that's of course it's a phenomenal price for that this is a very silky top i just need to do the button up on it because it just looks like a rag at the minute So this is a jacket blazer, so silky, but I don't think it is silky, it's probably polyester, but it's very fitted at the back. Yeah, really nice. Karen Millen, you know, she has a following since she's gone out of business because if you want anything, 
you've got to go on the second hand market. Um, I think this is a bit of a lesser brand. Oh my God, it's H&M again. I never pick up H&M and I've picked up twice today. Oh, I must be feeling sorry for them. I mean, I've left, a, left behind some really nice atmosphere Primark stuff because I just can't bring myself to get stuck with Primark. But this dress I quite liked. And I think somebody else, if they're looking for it, you know, like I was saying, if you, if you um, grow out of your old size of something, you really want something. And this was in the size eight section, but it's size eight in the US, not here. So this is yeah, size 12. Crocodiles. That's quite nice, really. Okay. So I'm speeding through it. This is a size eight, probably a bloody size six actually. Oh no, size 10. So rather nice. I probably wouldn't have necessarily picked it up because it is coast, which isn't a fabulous seller at all, but it is new with tags. I have paid three pounds, but look what some donut paid for it originally. Oh dear, why did you do that? It's only coast. I see, once upon a time, coast was a winning brand. It's like with all the Y2K stuff that's around at the minute. You know, it, it's, it's fabulous. And I love the fact that Y2K is a thing at the minute. But so many of the brands that we actually did wear back then, the, the next generation aren't interested in. This is vintage Karen Millen. So I thought it was definitely worth risking two pounds on. Please focus, please focus. Okay, you're not gonna focus today. Well, I'm sure you believe me. Just a basic skirt and I've spent two pounds on it and it's size 12 and I've checked it for stains because I'm not very good with these lighter colors. And another skirt, denim skirt, which I don't think you can go wrong with for two quid. And size 12, and it's fat face. So another easy 15 quid. And I'm nearly done. Don't have to bore you anymore. So this. Is 100% linen, so that's why I've picked it up because it's 100% linen. But it is only Marks and Spencers, so it's only you know another 15 quid in when it sells. But I think it's a large size. I can't remember what the size was. I think it's size 16 or something like that. But I thought it was quite nice, worth getting. M&S collection. So at least they're still with us. They haven't gone under yet. So I think that's everything. My bags are empty. So bearing in mind all this is from one shop. I think that's quite good. I've spent 60 quid. No, 65 quid. Um, but the returns are on one dress. And I need to keep the momentum up. I am plugging money into the business, but I'm I am slowly getting my my, my listings up and my sales up and I it it's working for me. I'm not, I'm not prepared to give up, you know, now I've, now I met my boss today and I made out, yeah, since I left you, everything's been great, you know, I did say that I'd been, I'd had to have a bit of a bailout from Universal Credit and that I had some stuff suffered, but, you know, I don't want them to think, you know, that I'm like missing them. So this is just a basic t-shirt, North Face. Couldn't find the hologram on it, but I don't think it's fake. Because usually they have a hologram thing on it, don't they? <sighs> so expensive in that shop. So I will have to check it over. Well, they charge me three quid as opposed to two, which they usually have for t-shirts. But I think, you know, there's some good money in that. You know, 15. Yeah, 15. So 
that's everything that I've got. Nice big pile, which I'm going to put on the spreadsheet now, fold it up and put it away because I'm dealing with a lot of stuff. Um, I might show you a few of the bits that I'm processing today. Well, this, this, there's a dress here, actually, that I've pulled out. This was one of my own dresses, which I decided to keep. Um, it looks like it's, uh, it's not really me. I, have, I haven't worn it. But I know that it looks really good on me, but I've noticed that for some reason, Jane Norman, the prices have gone up because I had another Jane Norman dress, which I looked up. Now, admittedly, it's sort of like the wench style, which they're calling milkmaid, but, but it's like, it, it, it's not like busty and stuff, but it, this is also really country core which is a new thing a new sort of like keyword which is really selling things so i just thought right i've not been wearing this there's no point hanging on to it because this is so country core i need to i need to get it sold and get some money in my pot um yeah so I'll just grab a few of the things that are on my ironing board, which I'm dealing with today. So this dress here, again, I think that this is sort of like a milkmaid type thing. I'll have to put it around my neck because it just looks really weird. Um, so it's like busty, but it's got this really cool rope detail which i think is really hidey you know and you know milkmaid and again country core really nice floaty dress so i have paid three quid from this about two weeks ago from the same place that i've got all this from today um the brand is bb but it's not so much about the brand it's about the style so i think that that'll look really nice I'll, um, I'll put it on the mannequin and show you. So this is it on the mannequin. Oh, it's, it's very long. <laughs> um, yeah, so bodice, as you can see, I think looks really nice. And I do think that it fits into this milkmaid um, type thing. And it's so floaty on the bottom. I think it's definitely going to be a winner for its style, not so much the brand. So that's why I pay, paid three quid for this. I'm hoping maybe I could get, you know, 25, if not 30. This is something that I got last week. Um, two of the, the charity shops, which I often go to, had opened. Um, I mean, to be honest, I was feeling a bit... Sim I was feeling bad for them, so I did buy some stuff. This was on their pound rail. Um, I have already sold a load of the stuff which I had on the pound rail, which was really, you know, like Bowdoin and um, white stuff. Just some basic tops, and I sold them for, like, a pound. I sold them for a ten pounds. Um, so I've made, like, five pounds on them anyway. So this is a, a really cool Day of the Dead skull pattern on it. It's only new look, but it will sell based on the style of it. I've just had to wash it though, which is why it's not listed yet, because I had a stain on it. And then I went inside and I paid five pounds for this. But this has just had a wash because when I had a look at it yesterday, it, it wasn't looking too good. So this is my problem with this place is that a lot of the stuff is bubbled, damaged, in uh, inside the shop they're selling it for crazy money and I wish they'd just, just put the prices at something reasonable. But £5 for this is really reasonable because it is sea salt and it's a size 20. I have to iron it again even though my iron's broken, the steam element of it's broken. Um, yeah, everything's tickety-boo with that now. The stains have come off. It looks like a nice, nicer pink now I've washed it. So Lord knows what people's problems are. They just 
send things to the charity for washing. So um, I don't know what these sell for, probably about the 30 or 40, maybe more mark. But I'll be getting that on today because that's ready to go. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'm not going to keep rambling. I will be doing some other videos, but I'm very aware that um, I've neglected the channel already, which is a terrible thing to do. And I won't be neglecting it. I will put some more up, but I'll just get the stuff out quickly and not spend loads of time babbling on and editing. So thank you for watching and please subscribe. That would be really nice. Follow the man. Oh, yeah, and... Uh, Thanks for watching. Oh, and I was 41 last week, so I am older now.